I mean, is it even absolutely necessary for me to even mention that I'm excited about this beer? Cause I mean, like, I feel like it's, it's a treehouse beer. Of course I'm excited. This is called King Jammy. And it's part of the King Julius series. King Jammy is a King Julius steeped on organic freeze dried apricots. So yeah. So King Julius is like citrus and mango. So they put apricots in here because they thought that it would amplify those flavors even more. So I'm assuming that this is supposed to be bringing out more of the mango flavor in the King Julius. Um, that, that's kind of like what I'm, I'm getting from this. This is, a, this is a double IPA checking in at 8.4%. So uh, yeah, let's give this thing a pour. I just, I'm too excited. Oh man, that smells so good. Yeah, I, I smell mango. Um, smell a little bit of hoppiness too maybe, but I definitely smell, smell a little bit more fruit. And normally, if you've seen in my previous videos, both previous videos, me talking about sweet beers and treehouse beers, um, normally if I smelt this, I think it'd be too sweet, but treehouse does a really good job with blending in the fruit and the beer, kind of keeping it well balanced. So I feel like it always smells fruitier than it tastes. So yeah, let's give it a try. Citrusy mango. It's kind of hard to tell if I taste apricots or not. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if I taste any apricots. I taste, I taste mango. I mean, did I mention this beer is phenomenal, by the way. This is really good beer. There's a nice hoppy level to it too. So it's, it's definitely hoppier than I thought it would be going by the smell. I thought it was gonna be more um, sweet and fruity and, and it's not. This does have a fruity taste aspect to it for sure, but there's a good decent bitter hoppiness to this beer that's just so delightful. Oh man, very well balanced. I'm not gonna go on and talk about Treehouse like I have in the past videos. Y'all know how I feel about them. If not, go watch some of my other Treehouse videos that I do. Um, and, and you'll know how I feel about that brewery and the quality of their beer and how it's just amazing. Um, we're gonna talk more about just this beer. It's not my favorite Treehouse beer that I've had, though it's still very good. I really like that King Julius, the, the original King Julius and the Island King that we did. Uh, I did a YouTube video on that, on that beer review, the Island King, that was really good. And I felt that that beer was much more um, fruitier than this one. This is definitely hoppier than the King Island. I'm not too sure if it's hoppier than the King Julius though. Hmm. The King Julius I did not do a review on. I had it at the brewery, though I do have a can of it and the, the review will be coming soon. Mm. Very tasty though. It is very tasty. It's a good beer. Oh yeah. It's funny, it's like, I kind of look at Treehouse now, like when I have their beers, I'm, I'm, I have a high expectation. So I think that maybe this beer is still slightly disappointing me in that aspect, but it's still a very good beer. It's just compared to the other Treehouse beers that I've had, this isn't my favorite. It's not my favorite. And it's actually pretty hoppy too. It's, it's, it's a really good IPA. I mean, I, I can't complain about this beer. I would totally buy it. If, if I saw this, I would buy it again. It just, there'd be other Treehouse beers that I buy before this. King Jammy gone. So, let's get into rating this beer. Um, for a Connecticut Vlogs rating, expectations are high for Treehouse, and this wasn't my favorite one by them. Still, still a really good beer though. I, I'm gonna give it an 8.2. Uh, King Jammy, 8.2. You know, like I said, if I would, I would buy this beer again. Um, I just don't know why I would because you can only buy Treehouse beers at the brewery and if I go to Treehouse Brewery, I'm 
I have a lot of other beers that I would choose before this. So, but if someone had it at their house and they gave it to me, it would be a treat for sure. And and for my untapped rating, I'm gonna give it a uh, I'm gonna give it a 3.75. Uh, I don't think it's really quite the four category, um, especially especially with some of the beers that I've had here in Connecticut and other beers that I've had from Treehouse. I think that this, this beer is lacking a little bit. I wouldn't consider this a four rated beer on Untapped. I'm gonna give it a 3.75. And yeah, that's the review. Um, if any of you just stumbled upon this video, I drop a beer review every Friday. It's called New England Brew With You, and we're just trying to find the best beers here in New England. Also on Saturdays, I do brewery visits and I'll do brewery vlogs and stuff like that. So yeah, if you guys are really into craft beer, follow this channel, give me a thumbs up, it really helps me out. Also, my Instagram, Connecticut underscore vlogs. If you follow me on there, then you'll see more content because on this channel is really only New England beers. On my Instagram, I do live reviews of other beers all over the country. And also I, I mention in my stories where I'm going next to vlog. So if you wanna be a part of the vlog or have a beer with me, you guys are more than welcome. Also, if you're subscribed to this channel and you follow me on Instagram, you're automatically entered into all my future giveaways. So yeah, Connecticut underscore vlogs on Instagram. Go follow me on there for some more content that you won't get here. And yeah, that's the video. I appreciate you guys watching this and I'll see you for the next one. Peace.